In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to plant and care for your rose bushes this year. So while these tips apply to most rose bushes, this is more specific to climbing roses, especially the half blaze climbing rose, which is the one I'm specifically planting today. So make sure to verify with your roses specific needs when you go to plant. So first thing is you want to find the right location for your rose. You need at least six hours of sunlight and make sure the soil is well draining, uh, like a loamy soil with good organic matter. You can also amend it before you plant. So I, I added leaves to the bottom and threw out some layers while planting my rose. You also want to make sure the pH is around six to seven, so just like a neutral pH. So once you have your location chosen, you can get started with the rose. So step two would be to get a big enough bucket so that your rose root bulb will fit in it and then fill that bucket up with lukewarm water about 60 to 70 degrees. If it's too cold or too hot, this can cause shock to the plant, uh, which is not a good thing. And then you'll leave it in this bucket for about one to two hours before planting, but be cautious not to leave it in too long as it can lead to, to, to some diseases and stress on the plant. Uh, it can also cause like suffocation as the roots need oxygen to properly grow. Step three is dig your hole. Uh, make sure it is slightly bigger than the root ball um, of the rose. I also like to loosen the soil at the bottom of the hole. This helps encourage root growth uh, and just makes it easier for the roots to, to grow uh, into that soil below it. If your rose was grafted uh, like mine, you'll want to make sure it is planted about two inches. You want to make sure that grafted part is planted about two inches below the surface of the soil. Uh, this part of the plant is just more susceptible to cold damage. Uh, it can also sucker in that place. Once you place your rose in the ground, you can start filling the soil back over the roots however don't fill it too fast because you'll once you get like halfway up uh, it's good idea to put some water over the soil to help it settle down close to the roots uh, and get rid of a lot of air pockets um, so that's what I'm doing here so so now since it's settled down I can finish filling in the soil over the root ball and about two inches over that grafted area. I'm actually going to add a little more soil to the top of this to try to level it off with the top of the raised bed. So I'm going to move some more soil over to make sure I have enough over the grafted area. For watering throughout the season, you'll want to make sure the, the rose stays well watered, uh, especially in dry spells. However, you don't want to waterlog the roots as this can cause some of the diseases uh, and problems we talked about earlier. Step six is pruning. This is before the season starts so you'll want to cut off any dead or damaged branches. My branches actually look really good on this. If they were too long like over 18 inches you might want to cut them back. Uh, this just helps promote more bushier growth. However mine look good so I should be good to go. Step seven, so mulching. Uh, it's, a, it's a good way to help your rose stay hydrated. So you can just give a good two to three inches of mulch around the base of it. Uh, and this will just help keep moisture in the soil um, and not letting it evaporate too fast. So number step number eight would be fertilizing. So we're not gonna do that today. You'll wanna do this after the last frost one, one time after the last frost, and then also about midsummer, you'll want to give it a well-balanced fertilizer uh, that will just help promote the growth um, of this flower. Step number nine, specifically for climbing roses, you'll want a sturdy structure prepared for it to grow up. So I'm going to be doing like an arch here. That way the rose will climb up it, and then I'll have beautiful flowers that I can walk under um, into my garden. And there you have it. You have everything you need to know about how to plant your rose for this summer. Thanks for watching.